Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about division of whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places. We have the first problem here. Miss Silvery's cat can consume 9,500 kilograms of cat food daily. Last week, she was able to buy 19 kilograms of cat food. How many days will the cat food last for Miss Silvery's cat? Our given is 9,500 kilograms and 19 kilograms. Our division sentence is 19 kilograms divided by 9,500 kilograms is equal to blank. 19 is our dividend, 9,500 is our divisor, and our answer is called the quotient. We have some rules in dividing a whole number by a decimal. In dividing a whole number by a decimal, it is easy if the divisor is changed first to a whole number. We can just move the decimal points to the divisor and the dividend by the same number of places. Then, divide as you do in the whole numbers. So in this case, we will just move the decimal point two places and the 9500 will become 95. We will do the same for our dividend. How many places did we move in our divisor? That's two. So we will also move two decimal places in our dividend. That's going to be one and two. Then we put the zeros and the empty spaces that will give us 1,900. Our new division sentence is 1,900 divided by 95 is equal to blank. Let's start dividing. How many 95s are there in 1? There's none. How many 95s are there in 19? There's none. How many 95s are there in 190? Okay, let's try to multiply. 95 times 2 is equal to 5 times 0 is equal to 10. Write 0 here. Carry 1 at the top of 9. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1. That's 190. So it means there are 2. 95 in 190. 95 times 2 is equal to 190. Let's subtract 190 minus 190. That's 0. Bring down 0. How many 95s are there in 0? That's 0. 0 times 95 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. It means our answer is 20. But we have to make sure our answer is correct. We have to check it first to check our answer if it's correct we have to multiply 20 and 95 it has to have 1900 as the product okay let's start that's 95 times 20 0 times 5 is equal to 0 0 times 9 is equal to 0 2 times 5 is equal to 10 write 0 there carry one at the top of 9 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19 so let's add 0, 0, 9, and then 1. This 1,900 is equivalent to our dividend, which is also 1,900. That makes our answer 20 days correct. It means Miss Selvery's cat can consume the 19 kilograms of cat food in 20 days. And that's it. We're done. We have another example here. Let's divide. 48 divided by 3 tenths. We have to make sure that our divisor is a whole number. So in this case, we have one decimal place to make this divisor as a whole number. That's 1. And this will become 3. And whatever we did in our divisor, we have to do it also in our dividend. Our decimal point of this whole number is just here at the back of 8 and we'll just move 1 and we put 0 to the spaces that will give us 480 divided by 3 is equal to blank. Let us start dividing. 480 divided by 3. How many 3's are there in 4? There's 1. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Subtract. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, bring down 8. How many 3's are there in 18? There's 6. 
6 times 3 is equal to 18. Subtract 18 minus 18 is equal to 0. Bring down 0. How many 3's are there in 0? There's 0. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. It means our answer is 160. But we have to check that. We will just multiply 160 and then 3. 0 times 3 is equal to 0. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Carry 1 at the top of 1. 3 times 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 480. This is equivalent to our dividend which is also here 480. It means it just simply telling us 160 is correct. And that's it. We have another example 732 divided by 2500. Since our divisor is a decimal, it has to be changed into a whole number so it's easier for us to divide these two numbers. So let's have to move this one to two decimal places, that's one and two, that makes it 25. Let's copy the division sign. Whatever we did in our divisor, we have to do it also in our dividend. How many places did we move? That's two. So the, our decimal point is right here at the back of two, that's one and two. The empty spaces will have two zeros. So let's copy that. That's going to be 7, 3, 2, 0, and 0. That's 73,200 divided by 25 is equal to length. That's our new division sentence. We're ready to divide. That's 73,200 divided by 25. How many 25s are there in 7? There's none. How many 25s are there in 73? We have 2. 2 times 25 is equal to 50. Let's subtract. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Let's bring down 2. How many 25s are there in 232? Let's multiply. 25 times 8. 8 times 5 is equal to 40, write 0 here, carry 4 to the top of 2. 2 times 8 is equal to 16, plus 4 is equal to 20, that's 200. Let's try 25 times 9. 9 times 5 is equal to 45, write 5 here, carry 4 to the top of 2. 2 times 9 is equal to 18, plus 4 is equal to 22. That's 225. Which do you think will we choose if it's going to be 200 or 225? I think it is, it is right to choose 9. 9 times 25 is equal to 225. Let's subtract. 2 minus 5 cannot be, so we will borrow from 3. This 3 will become 2. This 2 will become 12. 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Then let's bring down 0. How many 25s are there in 70? That's 2. 2 times 25 is equal to 50. Subtract. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Bring down 0. How many 25s are there in 200? It's 8. So our answer here at the top of 0 is 8. 8 times 25 is equal to 200. Then let's subtract 200 minus 200, that's 0. So our answer is 2,928. But we have to check it. To check, let's multiply 2,928 and 25. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Write 0 here, carry 4 at the top of 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, plus 4 is equal to 14. Write 4 here, carry 1 to the top of 9. 5 times 9 is equal to 45, plus 1 is equal to 46. Write 6 here, carry 4 at the top of 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, plus 4 is equal to 14. Write 4 and write 1. 
2 times 8 is equal to 16, write 6 here, carry 1 at the top of 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. 2 times 9 is equal to 18, write 8 here, carry 1 at the top of 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. Then we will add the partial products, that's going to be 0. 4 plus 6 is equal to 10, write 0 here, carry 1 at the top of 6. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12, write 2 here, carry 1 at the top of 4. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, plus 8 is equal to 13, write 3 here, carry 1 at the top of 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, plus 5 is equal to 7. The answer is 73,200, which is also equal to our dividend, which is 73,200. That makes 2,928 as our final answer. And that's it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!